A shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahadukah Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Jehovah, etc. The Rukah Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the understanding of this truth. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS, who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity. Shalom also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yaraya Yashar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do this quick one, which is going to be entitled The Agent Smith Effect the agent smith effect so as you all know you probably must have seen the movie um matrix you know so you have this character who is agent smith you know so you already know so now i'm just going to get some get a few things first of all let's see what this agent smith is actually so it says In the movie, The Matrix, Agent Smith has the ability to enter anybody at any time and that often happens when The Matrix is threatened by Neo. This scenario is a reflection of our real world. As a matter of fact, that movie, you know, that movie really exposes a lot. And, you know, that movie was written by a Jake woman, you know. And that, that movie really exposes the first one, you know, most especially, you know, it exposes reality but people they just watch the movie and they don't understand what's going on right there you know it says for example it says this scenario is a reflection of our real world for example you're having a conversation with a friend and everything is fine until you mention something like 9 11 was an inside job now watch what happens up up what now watch what happens up pops agent smith you know, then pops up, pops up Agent Smith to replace the person you're just having a conversation with to attack you because all truth, all, all truth threatens the matrix. It says, most people have the Agent Smith matrix programming since birth. These programmed people become the guardians of the matrix, prosecutors of the code, the police of mind, control and enforces of the indoctrination which holds together a false concept of reality like super glue you know and this is exactly what happens you know when you're trying to speak something to someone you know that hey listen there is a few there is a handful of wicked elites you know that run the whole thing and all they do is evil you know when you start telling people about certain things you know they just change man they just change you know when you're speaking about crazy things like the, the soccer, the movies or whatever, they're good with all that conversation. But once you start speaking about reality, people just change, you know. But they don't know they've been programmed, man. This is a programming, you know. In which in order to break out of this matrix, you know, you would need the Ruka Kodash, which is the spirit that comes from the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. You know, it gives you the understanding of these truths and it breaks you off, you know. First of all, it's the blood of Yahweh Shai that breaks all bonds, you know. If you tap into that sacrifice, you know, because the sacrifice has been laid down for all Israel, you know. If you tap into that sacrifice, you know, you're going to be you're going to be saved, you know, you're going to be redeemed, you know. But people they don't think, man. And at the end of this video, I'm just going to play some video that I have on Q. You know, I have some videos on Q and I'm going to play. So anyway, let's get the scriptures first, because all this is found in the scriptures, you know. So I picked up the book of Isaiah chapter 30 verse 10, and I put it in the, in the Bible hub, you know, the Bible parallels, you know. So it, it came out with lots of um, precepts in which we're just going to pick some, you know, it says. Now, I want to read one. On verse earlier, um, excuse me. I 
Isaiah 30. So I'm going to read from Isaiah Isaiah 9. It says, Isaiah 39 says, that this is a rebel you know i'm going to read from verse 8 it says now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever that this is a rebellious people lying children and children that will not hear the law of the most high yahweh shemi Shai, which say to the seers you know see not and to the prophets prophesy not on not unto us right things Speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits, get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. You know, this is what the people want to hear. The people want to hear suiting words, you know, because in this in this um in this truth, you know, this truth, the book doesn't contain only you know beautiful things, it contains woes, it contains destruction contains prophecies and and unfortunately or fortunately you know the end is not a, a, a happy ending in the sense that it's not going to be easy you know it's a happy ending for 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 the elect in which we're praying with part of the elect because we're going to get redeemed yahweh is going to redeem us you know but it's not a happy ending for the wicked you know so if you're having that wicked mindset you know you're still living in that spirit of the wicked you know it's going to sound like a like a bad story for you because you have no light in you man you know you want to listen to soft words you just want to listen that everything will be fine don't worry about that thing for every little thing is gonna be all right that's what jake wants to hear man they don't want to hear that hey there is destruction right behind the door you know this this kingdom is coming to its fall man there is going to be a third world war you know there is going to be famine and different plagues, you know. He, Jake, Jake doesn't doesn't want to hear all that, man. They want that simple, soft thing because they have they have been programmed by that Agent Smith um, effect. Now check this out. This is the book of Mark. This is the book of Mark, chapter four, verse fourteen. It says. The sower soweth the word, and these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their heart. You know, <laughs> this is the connection actually. You know, the agent Smith spirit just comes on some people when you're trying to teach them the truth. You know, they get the truth, but all of a sudden, the demon. Because this agent Smith's spirit is a demon. You know, he comes on people and takes away the truth. They'll be like, no, how can this be truth? I don't trust what you're saying, you know. They don't feel comfortable with the truth. Now, now this is the book of, um, of Romans, chapter 16, verse 18. It says, for such people are not serving our Lord, Yahweh Shai, you know, Amashiach. But their own appetites, by smooth talks and flattery, they deceive the hearts of the naive, you know. And this is talking about most of, you know, these priests, uh, most of these pastors of different churches, you know, now they, they understand the mind of Jake. They understand that Jake doesn't want a prophecy of hard things, you know. They want soft things. They want pleasant words. They want illusion. I like this. They say, they say to the seers, stop saying visions and to the prophet, do not prophesy to us the truth. Speak to us pleasant words. Prophesy illusion. So the Most High has given them all these pastors that prophesy illusions for them. You know, these pastors that are more like, you know, um, like, um, how, what do you call them? Um, motivational speakers, you know. They, they just preach, you know, oh, everything will be okay, you know, just believe and all these things, you know, they don't, they don't say any prophecies, you know, that's what the one and the most has given them to them. It says in the second book of Timothy 4.3, it says, for the time will come when men will not tolerate sound doctrine, 
but with each and ears that we gather around themselves, teach us to suit their own desires. <laughs> oh, the scriptures is really powerful because, you know, these books were written, you know, a long time ago. And, you know, the actuality of these words are so powerful, man. Written a long time ago and it fits, it fits every era, man. There are even futuristic things in this book that we haven't seen yet, you know. For example, the salvation of Israel, the so-called UFOs, the chariots that are going to beam the elect up. That's going to be a hell of a sight, man, you know. It says in 2 Timothy 4.4, 4, so they will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths, you know. And that's, what, that's what's been going on. They believe there is a hell. You know, they believe that, you know, um, um, Mary was impregnated by an angel. She was a virgin, you know. They believe that uh, uh, that um, everything is just going to be like that. Then rapture comes, all of a sudden you're just going to disappear, Poof, you know. They believe in myths, you know, in fables, you know. So, well, now, I don't want to make this video too long. I'm just going to go straight up to the videos that I have aside. And let's play the first one. Fantastic. What is the ancient Smith effect? What is that? Well, you know, this is one of the things that has to do with the Dark Brothers and how they subconsciously get into your psyche. So you know, they control the media, they control the news, they control what you eat, what you think, what you see, and everything else. Are they the deep state that we hear so the much about? The deep state. They're the deep state. They're all these hidden figures behind the scenes pulling all the strings that nobody ever can really see who they are, but they're there. You know, there's a hundred families running this entire planet, but there's still a handful of them that are at the top of that mini pyramid mm -hmm. that are really making all the final decisions. And so that's really what it's all about. So the Agent Smith uh, effect is when, like, if you're talking to somebody like a friend or a family member about what you saw on TV and it's like a sitcom or a TV show, everybody's having a great conversation about it. But as soon as you stop and talk about is 9-11 a conspiracy or, uh, you know, what they're putting in our food is poison, all of a sudden that person will then change their continence will change sure. their 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 attitude will change and they'll almost become like a prison guard to stop you from talking about those topics and try to skew you back into what the more comfortable co topics were which was gossiping and so forth and so on so it's like this thing jumps into them it's like this matrix programming takes over their body and that's part of the dark forces that happen and it's called the agent smith effect kind of after the matrix movies where agent smith would pop into the bodies of other people to fight against neo sure. And what that what that brother said right there is just nothing but the truth. Then there is this piece of this cartoon I would like to play. Then we'll close up the lesson. Excuse me, everyone. I have a brief announcement to make. Jesus was black. Ronald Reagan was the devil, and the government is lying about 9/11. Thank you for your time and good night. No! That can't be true! Oh! 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 How many times have I told you, you better not even dream about telling white folk the truth. You understand me? <laughs> That's funny. But there's some hidden truth right there, you know. So, hey, this is what it is, you know. Most, most Jakes, you know, they, 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 are, they are captured, you know, by this Agent, Agent Smith effect, which comes from devils, you know, Esau, you know, you know. So, hey, hopefully this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharika Kodash. Shalom.